Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, everyone. Hopefully, this is going to be a quick video. This video is going to be called uh, Boot Threat Screen of Death PS2 CD slash DVD discs with this trick. So, this actually only works for a couple of them. Uh, by the way, this works only for original discs, okay? So, don't think that this is going to work with something that's not legal. So, if you're going to boot. I don't have anything as you can see right now, so right now it's going to have the red screen of death if I boot it and first of all I'm going to have to let the PS2 load a little bit and then I'm going to of course uh, come on there we go and yeah the BIOS screen is there and the next Doing this with one hand, I have to be extremely careful. So, hopefully the red screen of death is going to come up. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But uh, yeah, do not be afraid, okay? It's just a red screen of death. You've seen it a million times. So, what's going to happen? I guess if it doesn't work, we're going to assume that the, or I'm just going to do the trick and show you how to boot it. Although some, for some reason, it's not the, uh, right now it's not doing nothing. No data. Sorry for the flickering. Oh, hmm. no. anytime I record it, it suddenly works. I'm just going to show you how to how to do all this through free Macboot and you on shelf if it doesn't work. So uh, I always put the free Macboot launch an OPL card in the second slot, and then I'm um, forgetting what to do. Hold on, let me wait. Oh yeah, I realized what to do. Okay, so we're going to eject the disk. First of all, well, Freeman with loads, and while the disk tray is opened with the disk in, what we're gonna do is imagine it's not working. Okay, I put it in, and I'll just get this ready. So launch disk mechanic. This is actually in the default. Uh, it's called launch launch disk by default, and I, j I just added mechanic as in the tray. So let's insert it. And now normally we get the red screen of death, but before you do, you press launch disk, just like that. Wait a couple of seconds, and it's going to make a few sounds on the console itself. And then it's going to work. Uh, however, there is another way to do this, so let me let me try that. Okay, so with the uh, U-Launch Elf or the Elf or any L uh, Launch Elf or W Launch Elf, anyway. So we're gonna go to Elf Manager U-Launch Elf once again, and. This is actually the best way to run it. So right now it says no disk. I'm not sure if you can see it. Hopefully you can. And there is PS2 disk, which I've, which is something I've added in. It's just a simple command. So what you would do is insert it, obviously, physically. I'm not sure if there is a open or close disk tray just yet, but it says stop disk. Actually, it's probably loading it. Or maybe it's already loaded. And what you would do is 
and go if if there is nothing there if there's not the ps2 disk which i've created what you want to do is go to file browser <clears throat> miscellaneous and then you do ps2 disk and as you can see it loads the system because the ps2 itself is just about uh, bios and as you can see it works so that's everything I wanted to show you. Thank you very much for watching this video and take care.